do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something different. This video is a compilation of things that they said I have never seen in my entire life. This would be my first time ever seeing these things that they show me on this on this video. Now personally, me, I've been I've been around. I'm 23 years old right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I've seen almost every single thing in the entire world. So we finna watch this. And I'm gonna call them on a cap. I'm gonna call them on a lie. Because you know these compilations be lying. They be putting stuff in. They be like, oh, you have never seen this before. And it's like a black guy. Like, come on, bro. Stop being racist. You know what I'm saying? But we finna hop right into this video. If you're excited, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? And before we hop into the video, man. I'm not wearing one. You knew this. You don't see one, so obviously, but you know what I'm talking about. Jewelry.com. You can buy two or get the thermal for free. Well, you can buy two and get the thermal for free, or you can bundle up and say sell fifty dollars. We got the best deals. We got the best do We got the best owner. <laughs> Come on now. I get better and better every time. But have stuff with jewelry, man. And without further ado, let's just hop right into this. This video is for educational purposes. We're not making money out of these videos. I am. Um, I think there's something wrong with my eyeballs. I fucking look like Sid off of Ice Age. Like, I look 110... 10% different. What the fuck? What the f... Wait a minute! This Is this a filter? There's no way that that's... That's real. That has to be a filter. What the fuck is wrong with this little girl? Why she's recording this? She need to be in the hospital. You better put them glasses back on over here looking like a freaking alien. Get on my screen with that. 10% different. What the fuck? What's wrong with her eyes? What the f What am I looking at? They peeling the melanin off. This is, this is, they peeling the, they don't want to be black no more. They peeling the mel melanin off. I didn't, you, you can't peel no melanin off. What the f What the f- This is a blistering sunburn, and I thought we talked about this already, but sun damage causes specific mutations in your DNA, which increase your risk of skin cancer <laughs> many times over. Not just that, but it's the number one cause of aging and oh hyperpigmentation. And he just pulled this This is off. painful, but oddly satisfying to- This might be like a white people thing, because I ain't never seen no black people do this. This must be a white people thing. Y'all, my Caucasian viewers. Is this something that happens? Let me know in the comments down below because I, I don't freaking know. Watch. Sunscreen, sun protective clothing. You'll thank me later. I'm black. I don't wear none of that. I don't get that. So I guess I got a superpower. This is what 0% body fat looks like. Probably more around 6%. You need at least 3% before you start to go into early organ failure. Way to kill the freaking vibe, you stupid doctor. Talk about organ failure. He's showing his abs. He's showing his hard work and dedication. You're talking about organ failure. Shut up. These are dead insects, and I'm going to put them in this, which is piranha solution. It eliminates all trace of organic materials by literally ripping them apart on a molecular level. This stuff can even dissolve elemental carbon. Anyway, share this video so these insects can get some TikTok clout even after death. The reason tattoos last for near eternity is because the ink particles are so large that your white blood cells have trouble swallowing it whole. Therefore, we need to break them into smaller pieces using laser. From there, the white blood cells swallow it up, carry it to the liver, and you eventually poop it out. I've seen, I, I, that's cap because I've seen, I've seen tattoo removal before. So I saw that. The video is cap. I've seen it. What is going on here? The f Why it look like a coochie on her eyelid? So you're probably wondering like What was that? What is up with those toes? Me too. And when dermatologists can't identify a rash or need more information, we do what's called a biopsy. But how do we do that? So here I'm going to perform a punch biopsy on this rash on a patient's foot. We first pick a spot to biopsy and then numb it using local anesthesia. This stings for a second and then goes completely numb. Next, I take the punch tool 
which I like to describe as a tiny cookie cutter for the skin, and take a core of tissue out that will be sent to the dermatopathologist for review. This is likely a type of rash we call a vasculitis. It's when there's inflammation around the blood vessels. Anyways. Did they just take a freaking piece of her freaking fu- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought it was just like drawing a line or something. They is chopping in that bit. Hold on. We call a vasculitis. It's when there's inflammation around the blood vessels. Anyways. After we take the core tissue out, we close the hole with a couple of stitches and then it heals up within a couple weeks. You gotta be stupid. You gotta be stupid to get something like this. What type of idiot wants a tattoo in they fr on the top of their freaking mouth? You st you gotta be the stupidest person in the world. And I'm sad to see it's one of my my, my melanin people. You stupid. You're making us all look bad. This is satisfying to watch, but they're basically shaving dandruff off of his scalp. Dandruff is actually caused by a yeast, so look for ingredients that actually treat it, like selenium sulfide and zinc pyrithian. I personally prefer ketoconazole, though. This is what happens when you look and you find endometriosis. What am I looking at right here? What? I don't like this. In the posterior aspect of the pelvis and in the anterior compartment on the bladder. I don't know what that was. I don't like it, though. This client came to me desperately wanting the lash extension she had done off. She had these cluster lashes applied at a hairdresser's advertised as individual eyelash extensions. She didn't got played. I don't know what the heck is that. That is the stupidest thing I ever seen in my life. You look goofy. And walking around with that, you... Who wants part two? Does anyone else have this redness along their nose? This is seborrheic dermatitis, which is basically like having dandruff on your face. Topical antifungals can help treat the underlying problem. You can even use ketoconazole shampoo as a face wash. Here's today's interesting things. Did you know that the horngus of a dongfish is attached by a skungle to a type of dill sack? Well, now you know. This person refilled their soap dispenser with clear soap, and the previous soap was less dense, which caused it to do this. At least I hope that's soap. Oh no! And did you know that metronomes will eventually synchronize if they're on a platform like this? There's a lot of interesting physics behind this. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it in the future. And this is what it looks like when you watch ball juggling from above. This is the angle I never knew I needed. Thanks, internet. This Fisher Price little people's house from the 1980s has a little girl trapped on the other side of this door and when you look at the same door from the outside she's trapped inside and this person's beetle has a tiny beetle parked inside of it now they just need an even smaller beetle to fit inside the toy and why 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 am i being shown this stuff i've seen all these things before and may may the elephant enjoys crushing her carrots before she eats them i'm so impressed by their level of control Aww. <laughs> Hummingbirds have reflective feathers and they change color at different angles. That's, That's really cool. All right, take care. That's fire. Hey everybody. Bye. You wasted my time, but that the last one was fire. Welcome to Everything you're about to see was found in just one rock pool, which is crazy. Let's go. This is a shore crab. They're sometimes called green crabs, but as you can tell, that name is a little misleading. I very rudely interrupted his sunbathing session to give you a better look at him, but as soon as I picked him up, he was on a mission to get back to his spot, and I can't blame him for that. If he manages to survive to adulthood, he'll get about five times bigger than this, but for now, all we can do is wish him good luck on his travels. Pretty close by, I spotted this actually green shore crab, but he was a lot lot more feisty. As soon as I got close, he threw up those claws and was ready to attack. Don't worry too much about him though, after a few seconds he went right back to munching on that yummy scuzzy rock fuzz. Yum yum yum. I know I said Crab City, but I'm changing it to because I really need to show you these cute little prawns. I have never met such a friendly and accommodating common prawn in my life, so I will leave you with this little gentleman. Have a great week. Scientists are training rats to wear these tidy backpacks. Why? To help earthquake victims, of course. Each of these rats' backpacks contains a microphone to help people trapped in rubble and disaster situations. Imagine you stuck under some debris after being in, a, in an earthquake and you hear a rat coming up to you. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And then you just start screaming. They think it's going to help people with their mics on there. All you're going to be hearing is screaming, more screaming. Now, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do that because it probably would help some people be like, help, I'm here, help me. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you trapped under some a big old rock and you like stuck, you think you want to just see a rat coming up to you? Like, and your first thing is going to be to talk to the rat? Help, rat. Get somebody help me, please. Like, come on, bro.
waste of time training He's that thing to do that. The that coochie aorta. what? Looking down from the top, and we can actually see the aortic valve in here. You see those flaps in the middle. So when the ventricles contract, they blow open, and then when the back pressure from the blood pumping out through the aorta comes back, the blood fills. What is this? What 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 am I looking at? Fills in those little spaces, and the valve closes. What is that? Is that a heart or something? Open. You see those from the top. I don't know what that is, but I ain't looking at it again. <laughs> That look cool. I like that. What is this? What is going on here? Why they got rods inside this person's teeth? The teeth look jacked up. What the fuck? What? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, confusion. Confusion. Confusion has stricken me. What is going on? They just took their gum out? Inside of this wooden log is a small colony of black carpenter ants. The nest itself is fairly compact, but I really think the ants like it. The colony is one queen and a few workers strong, but it's safe to say that there's some more workers on the way. The queen is not a big fan of the light at all and does her best to hide in the shadows of the nest. Now, I won't bother this colony too much, but I'll be sure to update you as they progress. That's pretty far. It's Mammal Monday. Let's talk about a really cute little creature. This is a lowland streaked tinric. I thought she was talking about herself. What type of creature are you? Day. Let's talk about a really cute little creature. This is a lowland streaked tinric. They're native to the tropical lowland rainforests of Madagascar and they live in shallow burrows in the ground. They're not related to porcupines or hedgehogs, but they look very similar and they do have quills too. I know this sounds crazy, but tinrics are more closely related to elephants than they are to hedgehogs. Elephants and tinrics are both part of a group called Afrotheria, which is a group of African mammals that share evolutionary connections. They're currently a threatened species due to deforestation, but also because people do hunt them and eat them. These tinrics mostly focus on eating earthworms, but they'll eat a variety of invertebrates. Their bodies are very well adapted for digging. Their long skinny noses are amazing at feeling out prey in the dirt. They I saw this animal before when I made the reaction to the animals that you never knew existed, so this is another one that's cat. They also have sensory hairs on their body that function like whiskers do, helping them to better detect their environment. They also have enlarged hair as major muscles. That helps their elbows extend more and helps bring their arms up closer to their body. They are very efficient little creatures when it comes to digging. They also have a very unique ability called stridulation and it's usually only seen in snakes and insects. It's moving body parts together to make a noise, just like crickets and cicadas do. They're the only mammal in the entire world that's known to do this. They raise up the quills on their back and vibrate them together. Take a listen. They use that sound as a warning signal for predators, but they also use it to communicate with their babies. For instance, they'll use it as a homing device if one gets separated from the family group. When approached by a predator, they not only vibrate their quills, but they also stomp their little feet around on the ground, which is just adorable. I mean, they're only about four to five inches long on average, but they do have those quills. Dang. She's boring me. The, the, the animal was cool when I first heard about it, but she going into a science lesson about the, the freaking the, the hairs on the back of their heads making a little noise. Like, come on, bro. Nobody can hear that. Ranger hamster. Thank you. Jeez. It's going to get me copyrighted, so I got to mute that. But what did it just, it just show us people walking? I never seen people walking before. This is doo -doo.
They build in a post, like a bed a bed post thingy, I think. I don't freaking know. Why he just beat it like that? What was that? Why is his tooth that shaky? Whose mouth is this? Like a crackhead or something? And why is his tooth fully exposed? You know, you got your gums that had like the bottom of it. Why his tooth fully exposed? Bro, get this off my screen. How do I get this off my screen? It's blocking the tooth. How do I get this off my screen? It's blocking what I'm supposed to be looking at. Bro, what the... F I can't even see what's going on. Because this stupid thing is blocking it. Man, that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Have y'all seen this stuff before? I told you I saw the... I've seen a tattoo removal, for sure. And I seen that little animal thing just because I made that reaction video like a couple days ago to the animals that you didn't know exist. So I saw two of the things here. And I also know I saw three things. I saw people walking before. I don't know why the heck they threw that stupidness in there. Talking about traveling in 2050. That's traveling right now. I can walk outside and see the same freaking thing. I don't know why that just made me so bad. But that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, man. Let me know if y'all ever seen any of these things. Let me know the things that you have seen and haven't seen. I know y'all ain't seen that first girl. The first girl threw me off. And them eyes, come on, bro. There's something wrong with you. I, I, God, I hope she's still alive right now and seeing well or living. I don't freaking know. But anyways, yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.